Hey guys, welcome back to a new biology resumption video. So today we are going to continue the series of the Cambridge IGCSE Biology Paper 2 Multiple Choice Extended Paper, the October-November 2023 series. Today we are doing Paper 2, Variant 3. Okay, so let's start off with the first question, shall we? So question number one, what are the characteristics of all living organisms? So let's just have a look, which is the correct answer. So breathing is not, um, ejection is not, um, digestion is not a characteristic, but this has all of it. So the answer is D. Okay, question two. Using the binomial system, the name of a lion is called a Pantera Leo. Which statement is correct? So the lion belongs to the kingdom Pantera, nope. The lion belongs to the genus of the Pantera is correct. The lion belongs to the species of Pantera. Nope, if species would be Leo. The lion belongs to the genus Leo. Wrong. So the answer is B. Alright, question number three. The diagram shows an organism called Chlamydomonas. So which processes can a Chlamydomonas carry out? So let's see from this diagram. They have a ribosomes, they have a mitochondrion, they have a nucleus, and they have a chloroplast. So which processes can they, you know, uh, carry out? So photosynthesis and respiration, yes, they can do, but then this is not the complete process. They can undergo photosynthesis, respiration, and protein synthesis. Uh, yes. So this is incomplete for A. This is also incomplete, incomplete. So the answer is B. So where you can get photosynthesis from? Photosynthesis from chloroplast, Respiration is from the mitochondrion. Protein synthesis is from the ribosomes. Okay, question number four. The diagram shows the structure of a pellet cell from a leaf. Which structure contains chlorophyll? So chlorophyll is always inside the chloroplast. So it's always surrounding the um, cytoplasm. So the answer is C. Question number five. A diagram of a white blood cell has a diameter of 76 millimeter. The magnification of the diagram is times 8,000. So what is the actual diameter of the white blood cell? So let's use this formula. IAM or the IM formula. So what I'm having right now is the diameter, which is the image length. So in millimeter, I will change to micrometer and I will divide by the magnification, which is times 800, 8,000. So the answer would be 9.5 micrometer. So the answer is C. Question number six. Which diagram shows the appearance of a plant cell after it is placed in pure water? So this would be a hypotonic solution where water will enter the cell. So for plant cell, right, they have the cell wall, which they can hold turgid pressure. It won't become flaccid and it won't become plasmolite and it will neither burst. So the correct answer is D. This shows that it's sturgeon and all of the cell wall is acting, is counteracting the pressure on the cell wall. Question number seven, which processes requires active transport? So active transport is usually ions. Okay, so the key way to find for ions, which is B. The answer is B. Very simple. Okay, question number eight. Which row shows the chemical elements contained in fats? Fats and carbohydrates are the same thing. They only contain three things, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So find the options which has carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. This would, the answer would be A. Question nine. Glycogen is a large molecule made from smaller molecule. Which smaller molecule is glycogen made from? Glycogen is not glycerol. But glycogen is basically the, the sugar that is stored in animals. So actually, glycogen, when you break down, it will just become what we call as glucose. Okay, question number 10. The, the graph shows the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction catalyzed by an enzyme. Which statement explains the shape of the graph at section X? So this shows increasing rate of reaction. So let's see each of the options. A says the enzyme is not the correct one to act on this substrate. This is wrong. The enzyme is starting to denature. No, denature always at the end. The number of active sites is increasing. No. The frequency of the enzyme substrate collisions is increasing. Yes, so the answer is D. 
Question number 11. During growth, potato plants produce flowers and underground storage organs called tubers. During this time, which part of the plant acts as a sources and sinks for translocation? So they say that the storage organs are the tubers. So which would be the correct options? So the potato tubers is now becoming the sink. The source is where it's all coming from the leaves and whatever is produced will be also from the flowers. Also the flowers and the potato tubers will be acting as the one that helps to absorb it and then to keep it, okay? The leaves are becoming the source of it, all right? So the answer is B. Question number 12. The diagram shows an experiment investigating the effect of light intensity on an aquatic plant. So the difference is between the distance now, okay? Photosynthesis occurred in both test tube P and test tube Q. Both test tubes were kept at the same temperature. The most number of produce, no, most number of num bubbles produced in test tube P was 12 bubbles per minute. What is the most likely number of bubbles produced in one minute of test tube Q? Okay, so we know that in every minute they produce 12, okay? But in 10 centimeter, it's closer already. So what happens is that it will definitely increase. So the most logical answer from here would be D. You don't really have to look at the question or compare with anything. You see, as the light goes closer, it's more exposed to the light. And then plants are able to photosynthesize, photosynthesize quickly. So therefore, there will be more bubbles produced. Question 13, which human's teeth are used for biting and cutting food? Biting and cutting, uh? the key is this two, but it's actually very simple. It's always the incisors and the canines. The molars and the premolars act as grinding. For cutting and uh, biting, it's always at the front part of the tool, which is the incisors and the canine. Question number 14, the diagram shows part of the human digestive system. Which organ produces hydrochloric acid? This should be very simple. The answer is A. Okay. Question 15, the diagram shows the structure of a villus. The artery, the capillary, the lacteal and vein are labelled with letters. Which letter shows where nutrients are absorbed into the blood? Alright, let's label what is all of this. So for A, right, this is a lacteal. For B, this is the blood capillaries that is going away, uh, it's going towards the heart. Towards the heart. Okay, for C, this is a much thicker, this should be a vein if I'm not, if I'm not, uh, if I'm sure. And D is the arteries. So they say which letter shows where nutrients are absorbed into the blood. So it would usually be the capillaries. The capillaries are small enough for it to, you know, to absorb the nutrients and then they will be sent into the blood. Okay. Question 16. By which process is water vapor lost from a leaf? Water vapor lost from a leaf is in gaseous form. So the correct answer is by diffusion. Okay, question 17. The pathway taken by water through a plant is shown from root hair cell, root cortex cell, and zac to the mesophyll cell. So what is it uh, missing? So they say it's taken up by water. Which of the tissue helps to transport water? The most obvious one is, of course, the xylem. Question 18. The graph shows the thickness of the muscular wall in each of the four chambers of the mammalian heart. Which chamber is the right ventricle? Right ventricle pumps the least uh, in the actually the blood is received at a very lower at a low pressure. But then it's also but it's not as high as the left atrium. Okay? So which would be the closest? So left ventricle is definitely this. So the right ventricle will be B. Because let's see, let's try to draw this out. Okay. When the left ventricle pumps up the blood, right? Okay, through the arteries. Eventually, they will diffuse and undergo gaseous exchange, right? It will goes back to the this part. Then it will go inside here. Then it will go back. It will send back to the lungs. 
So this will undergo at a very fast. Uh, the thickness of it, it requires to pump to the lungs. So usually the ventricles are much thicker than the atrium. Okay, but not as thick as the left ventricle. Let me know if there's any issues with this question. I will answer again in the comment section. Question 19. Which row shows the correct features of the circulatory system of a fish? So I this will really need you to understand how many are there. So the number of atria will be one, number of ventricles is one, and the number of times they circulate is one. Ignore two. Since this is a sing circulatory system, single is the single circulatory system is for fish. So basically what it means is that it only passes through one time. So just ignore the other options, the answer will be A. Question 20. Cholera infection can cause the following events. So they give you five things. Which sequence will of events will cause diarrhea? So let's see. Cells lining the, sm uh, cells lining the small intestine secrete cholera. Not so fast, but actually they will start off with cholera bacteria produces the toxin. So this will be first. The second one will be the cell lining, then secretes the chloride ions. The next stage is where the chloride ions will move into the small intestine. Then the water potential will decrease. And then it will move from the blood, move into the small intestine. Okay, by osmosis. So the correct answer is B. Question 21, which row shows the composition of expired air okay, from a healthy person? So expired air is where there's more carbon dioxide and lesser oxygen. So the answer for this is very simple. It will be D. So 4% carbon dioxide, 16% oxygen and always saturated water vapor because water vapor is released also. Question 22, the table shows the relative concentration of urea in the blood entering and leaving the kidneys. So which rules is correct? So they say when urea of the blood is entering and leaving the kidneys and the liver. So which row it will be correct? So the highest concentration of urea in the blood is always when it enters the kidney because it, come, it comes from the liver. The liver produces the urea. Then the urea is sent to the kidney. So the higher concentration is coming when it's entering the kidneys. So entering kidneys is the correct one. But the lowest concentration of urea in the blood is when it's entering the liver because the, since the liver is the production of urea, there is actually very little concentration of urea entering the liver. So the correct answer is B. Question 23, which statement about anaerobic respiration is correct? So anaerobic respiration occurs without the presence of oxygen. So which is the correct answer? So ignore anything that says requires oxygen and they will definitely release lesser energy per glucose molecule than aerobic respiration. So the answer is C. Question 24, during exercise and oxygen depth may occur in muscles. What is the cause of this oxygen depth? So oxygen depth is always caused because of anaerobic respiration. With the lack of oxygen, they start producing lactic acid in our muscles. So oxygen depth is always ha happens because of this reason. So the answer will be D. Okay, question 25. The diagram shows parts of the body involved in uh, excretion in humans. So what are the labor parts? So this should be very simple. You, so W will be the kidney, all right? And the X will be the ureter, and it's not the urethra. Bladder will be the Y, and urethra will be Z. So, so the answer will be B. Question 26. The diagram shows a reflex action when a person touches a hot object and pulls their hand away. So which letter ident correctly identifies a structure? Okay, so let's see what question 26 wants. So which letter is correct? Skin on hand, E is called the effector. No, it's not. It's usually the sensory neuron. F, okay, the neuron F is a motor neuron. No, motor neuron always occurs before it touches the muscles, before it reaches the muscle. G is the motor neuron. 
which is correct. H is called the receptor. No, receptors are always happen on closer to the hot object that if which is touch. So the answer would be C. Question 27. A light source is placed on one side of a growing plant. What is the correct explanation of the role of auxin in shoot growth? So you must know that when auxin is being produced, right, it will always be unequally distributed. And then when it follows the shoot response to light accordingly, it will grow towards the direction of where the light is shining. So the answer will be C. Question 28. Which statement about antibiotics is correct? So antibiotics are basically drugs. You don't really have to read. The first option is the answer already. Okay, question 29. The graph shows the number of cases of disease caused by MRSA bacteria in hospitals in one city between 1998 and 2010. So you can see the graph here. So what was the percentage change in the number of cases between 2002 and 2003? So you can see, let's pinpoint 2002 and 2003. So 2002 is 600 and 2003 is about, let me calculate, four. Um, this could be about 1,360, I would say. Hmm. All right, let's use the calculator to calculate this. So 1,360 minus 600. So this is an increase. Uh. So since they say it's from 2,000 to 2,003. So this will usually be a positive percentage change. So if you just minus off with 1360 minus 600 divided by 600 times by 100, you'll be getting 126.666. When it rounds off, is 127%. So the answer is C. Okay, question 30. Some descriptions of reproductions are listed. So which are the correct description of sexual reproduction in humans? So the formation of zygote with a diploid nucleus. No, it's from a haploid nucleus. So, uh, and then it's always a fusion of diploid nucleus of two gametes. Nope, it's always by haploid nuclei. So this is a linkage. Okay. Sorry, the formation of zygote is with a diploid nucleus. And formation of zygote is not from a haploid nucleus, actually from a diploid. But then when the haploid nucleus fuses together, they will form a diploid zygote. So the answer is actually B. I'm so sorry for the mistake just now. Question 31. Which statement about pollination of plants is correct? So we just have to evaluate all of the statements here. Cross-pollination is the transfer of pollen from the ender of a flower to the style of the same flower. No, cross-pollination is by the different flower. Cross-pollination is the transfer of pollen from the end of the flower to the stigma of the flower. This should be also be stigma uh, on the different plant of the same species. This is correct. Self-pollination is the transfer of pollen from the end of a flower to the filament. This is wrong. It should be stigma. And then self-pollination is the transfer of the, from an, on a different plant, not a different plant. It should be on the same plant. So the answer is B. Question 32, the graph shows the changes in concentration of a hormone that's involved in controlling the menstrual cycle. So what is this hormone? So honestly, if you have seen the menstrual cycle familiarly, you know that this is going to be a progesterone because after ovulation has occurred, uh, that's when the progesterone releases and starts to thicken the endometrium or the uterus lining. Okay, question 33, pea plants are either yellow or green seeds. Yellow is dominant to green. Uh, and what are the most likely phenotypes? And the phenotypes of the offspring are crossed between YY and YY. So we draw the Punnett square just by roughly just doing this, YY and YY. So this would be YY and YY and YY and YY. So this would be actually 50% yellow. Mm, let's see. Uh. Oh, this should be 100% yellow okay because all dominant show the yellow so they will express that yellow color 
Okay, question 34. The diagram shows the chromosome of a cell after they have replicated and just before the cell divided by mitosis. Which pair of cells will be produced at the end of mitosis? So, okay, let's see. Uh. They say when this occurs, right, after they have replicated, what cells are produced at the end of mitosis? So actually, oh, they give you these diagrams. Oh, I forgot to see the bottom one. Okay. So mitosis, they produce you genetically identical cells. So just look at, look from this, you know that when they split up, okay, they will actually form C. Okay. You see from A and B, it will definitely be up. D, you can't only just have four pairs of it. Okay, so it's out. Okay. Question 35. The table shows the number of stomata per millimeter square on the upper and lower epidermis for four different plants. Okay, which plant is most likely to be a hydrophytic plant? Hydrophytic plant always has the most stomata on top of the leaf not on the bottom because the bottom is already exposed to the water surface so therefore they usually have none on the um, lower epidermis so the answer is c question 36 in which processes do nitrogen cycle do microorganisms take nitrogen from the air and convert it into nitrogen compounds so it's always by nitrogen fixation bacteria or nitrogen fixing bacteria so the answer is d Question 37, an increased concentration of nitrates of in water may result in the death of fish because of eutrophication. So some stages of eutrophication are given. So which is correct? So just read from here. So it always starts off with the increased growth of producers or usually algae. And what happened is that increased decomposition of death after producers, then the increased aerobic respiratory by decomposers, then this will definitely decrease the amount of dissolved oxygen. So the answer is C. Okay, question 38. Which word describes the number of different species in an area? Number of different species, yeah? So the key word in here is the number of different species. So the answer will be A, biodiversity. Different species means it's very biodiverse. Question 39. Which statement is an advantage of GMO crops? So let's see which is, you know, um, genetically modifying crop is an advantage less pesticide is used if genetic modified crop is resistant to pests this sounds really positive already more herbicide will be used so this will be out seeds for genetically modified crop are more expensive the disadvantage and genetic modified crop may be passed to other plants this is also an disadvantage so the answer is a last question which statement of the cor are correct description of part of the process of protein synthesis so the, this one you must be familiar with it so which are the correct description amino acids are made by the ribosome nope mrna is copied nope the gene coding for the protein moves into the nucleus nope it will go to the cytoplasm the ribosome assembles into the the assembles the amino acid into protein molecules yes that's the role of the ribosome the sequence of amino acids determined by the sequence of bases in the mrna correct so the answer is four and five d okay so thank you so much for listening to this paper uh i will see you guys in the next video bye bye